my friends. We are in Hannover. I'm going to meet Lars under the tail, as they say in Hannover. It's a little bit uh, awkward because in German that translates to something different as well. Uh, if you know, you know. But we're going to explain the workings behind the server that we set up and all the software that we set up uh, in interfaces. I'm generously saying we. Uh, it was Lars who wrote the code and it's him to explain all that to the members of the workshop that we're going to give today in the Kunstverein Hannover um, because we want to present what we scanned at the Staatsoper Hannover which is just around the corner with the dancers of the State Ballet. So Lars is going to explain to the members of the workshop but he's also going to explain to you uh, how to set up the whole thing, the docker installment and all that and how to use it either in a live instance or just scanning your dance if you want to do that. So um, come with me and we'll see. <laughs> so welcome to our interfaces installation tutorial. In the first step we will install the docker engine requirements um, we will install this from a guide which will be linked in the video. So let's get started. First point will be to update our repositories. So the first command is sudo apt update. Confirm by entering our password. This was successfully, very good. Next statement is to install some requirements for the docker installation which are these. I simply copy them from the guide and as I can see well everything is already installed very good so we can proceed with the next step another one simply copying commands from the guide and the next one this one and another one here we are and the last one which will add the um, docker repository to our packages list and here we are so now we can update our repositories again and we see that the docker repository has been added and now we can install our packages which are hello these guys here Confirm with yes. So after our Docker installation has been completed, we can now check the installation to be correct uh, using this command docker run hello world, which should give you an output like this, basically telling us that everything's fine. Docker has been installed successfully. Um, we will install another small addition, which is uh, this package, docker compose here, which I have already installed. Very good. Um, so yeah, now we are ready to do the yeah, uh, interfaces installation in the next step. So here we are in the next step of our tutorial. The first thing will be to get ourselves root permissions, which is done by this command. As I did it before, I do not have to re-enter my password. You might have to enter your password there. And next step is to clone the Git repository of the interfaces app. Um, there's a nice uh, command for this in the readme which I use here, which is this one. So here we are cloning the repository. It might take a few 
moments depending on your internet connection. This depth argument here is pretty important so you don't download the whole git history which makes the download um, yeah a lot smaller so this is recommended for you to do and yeah let's meet again after this has finished so now our git clone command has finished and we can see that a new folder has been created um, we're doing it uh, in the home uh, folder of the root user, um, which is uh, this folder here. You may install uh, your interfaces installation to basically any place. Um, this one here is used to keep the installation as simple as possible. So now we enter this new folder and can take a look around here too. Um, the most important component for us will be this start soap compose script which we will run now which will basically call the um, docker commands necessary to build our application if you're curious feel free to take a look it's basically one command used here which is this one and now we can call the script and watch the installation process of Docker. This will take a while because a lot of uh, Docker containers have to be built, images have to be pulled, um, so we will meet again after this has finished. So welcome back, our installation has finished. Um, as we can now see, the console is showing us lots and lots of output from the running containers, which isn't really that interesting for us. I already created some errors down below here by clicking around the web application without um, initializing the database, but this is fine. Um, on this terminal here, I can show you how to find out your IP address. On your system you can use this command for it and it's most likely the second adapter which is the interesting one here and you can find the IP address here <coughs> which you can now enter into the browser um, to check the web application to be running and as a last step I will just uh, abort this process here by uh, pressing ctrl C which will shut down all our Docker containers and um, yeah, shut down the whole project because I want to reboot the whole machine so that uh, after the reboot all containers start up automatically and the system is available for us to be used. Thanks for watching this guide, have a lot of fun with your interfaces installation, feel free to ask questions both uh, at the Git repository or at the, um, at the uh, Discord server. Um, yeah, and have a nice day. Bye! Well, you see, that didn't even take that long, so um, try it out for yourself and maybe just add your artwork.